Don't miss out on the special offer from my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They're currently giving you 20% off if you use my coupon code Poodle at checkout and also giving you an additional 10% coins at checkout. Hey, what is going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video. And today, I'm going to be going over the market. I already did my positional hero video. You guys should be seeing that if you haven't already. So I plan to do three videos today, try to catch back up on some lack of content that I've been a little behind on lately. Now, the market has crashed. Did not see it yet, but I just did make in this last video. I think positional heroes killed the market. See, it rose the players up of the players in its set, but it also killed the other players. So like literally some 96 97s are literally going for more technically if you understand what I'm saying. So like the 98 99s are going for like 150 and the 96 97s are going for like 140. So in reality, it's going for more on a ratio basis than it should be only because of where it's at. So when the 99s and 98s are at 150, the 96, 97 should be like way below 100, but they're not. That's because they're useful for the set. So I'll show you what I mean in a second. First off, guys, if you're new to the channel, make sure to drop a sub. It means a lot to me if you do. Also, this uh, starting today, as I said in today's video, all the way until Madden 20, I will be doing giveaways in every video. So the way this is going to work is I just need to hit the like goal. If we hit the like goal, that's all that needs to be done. And you guys have to comment down below. So today's comment is... Like I just said in the last video, if you watched it, I have 527k on my account. I'm going to be giving away all the coins in my account in one shot. So all you got to do down below is comment down below 500k and like the video. And if we get 150 likes, I will be giving it away to a random commenter. So all you got to do is comment down below 500k in every video pretty much. Like every video. And if we hit 150 likes, I will be giving it away. And this is pretty much any video from now to Madden 20. And once you guys hit the like goal, I will be changing it up. So next video could be... My Khalil Mac, you guys could have it. I'll trade it to someone randomly if we hit 150 likes. So all you gotta do is hit the like goal. So everyone watching this, I know I get I get well above 150 views. Everyone watching this, like this right now. Comment down below. What could you lose? Most op people probably will just forget to comment anyways. So you have a really good chance of winning this. You can really hook up your team at the end of the year for free. So going into it right now, we go to the 98, 99s. I'll show you guys what I was talking about before, and I'm pretty sure the market got destroyed, and it looks like it did. Look at these prices. Vic's at a huh? Lawrence Taylor's at 150. This is unreal. Falcons, Vic's at 170. Deion Sanders is at 205. Giants, Lawrence Taylor. So, well, I just have to say one thing first. People were telling me, they said I was dumb for saying sell your team two weeks ago. I was like, sell your team now. When the next thing drops, the market is on the edge of falling off a cliff. And everyone was like, that's dumb. Why would I sell my team? We're literally at the end of the year it's no point of selling a team i was like if they're not trained up remember that if they're not already trained up they're just in your binder sell everything because things are going to drop and look at this i hope you sold your dion for almost 300k i hope you sold your vic for almost 280 because you just lost millions if you, if you have a whole team like i do i didn't excuse me i didn't sell because my whole team's powered up but otherwise if i were you guys i'd be pissed right now if my team's worth 5 million it just became 2.5 million if you didn't sell your cards now Let's see if we can filter this out a little bit better because obviously this is a little too much. So Dan Marino, 99 overall is going for 159K. Do you understand the level of training? I think training, I think training is broke. Literally. Let me pull up the calculator real quick and let's see exactly what training is going for. I'm not going to go by 99 because I don't exactly know that one, but I know Vic's like 36,000. So 36,000, 170K. 150k actually because Lawrence Taylor divided by 36,000 is coins are below four training four coins per training and that's just counting Vic if we do if we do Dan Marino I don't know what his thing is it's probably somewhere in like 48,000 if we did Dan Marino it's definitely like three coins per training right now that is unreal if you guys ever need a training now would be the time and it's only going to get worse I don't imagine this resetting as positional heroes keep dropping because to explain this to you guys the relevance of right now is people want the positional hero pieces to build these cards so all they care about are those so if you look here at cornerbacks which is one of them these cornerbacks dropped a lot Dion dropped everyone dropped now the reason for that is because this Jalen Ramsey just dropped so every position is going to be receiving a 99 overall which means that every position ultimately every card below that's going to go down and to make it worse those those cards have a set that require cards from their position but the cards they require aren't 98s or 99s so every card there isn't relevant to the game right now people care about what's right now and that is 96 97s and below so those cards actually went up an increase of like 10 to 50 percent per card 
depending on the card, obviously. So if you have that card, you can sell it now. I'd sell them before the positional heroes get less relevant because once they do, those cards will go back to value. But every card that aren't in the set, people aren't really caring about right now. So if this 99 Jalen Ramsey is 240, everything below is going to die. They're going to set the market. So if you look down below now, you think that if... Think about it this way. If the 98 and 99s, if the lowest card is Night Train Lane at 145k, you'd imagine that a 96, 97 is going to be like an 80k, right? So you open it, 130k pretty much. 140k, why is it the same price as Night Train Lane? Or almost Deion Sanders, does that make sense to you guys? The reason is because they go in the set. So if you guys have cornerbacks, if you guys have any cornerback in the game that's not powered up, that's below 97 overall, I'd sell it, 97 or below. Anything above, I'd hold on to it for now. I just, if you want to just keep it, just keep it. I won't fault you for that. They're going down rapidly. They might slowly come back, but not for the time being. Definitely, this market got destroyed. It's kind of sad, but I, we all saw this coming. Let's see what the quarterbacks are looking like. 67K. Now would be the time to build a team if you were just saving coins this whole year. This is crazy. Dwayne Haskins. Daniel Jones was 180K. Wait, let's see what Kyler Murray is going for. I don't know if he... Quarterbacks won't be touched too much yet until... They were touched, but they'll be touched even more. Kyler Murray is 214. The quarterbacks will be murdered when their positional hero comes out. Right now, I believe it's just fullback, strong safety, wide receiver, and cornerbacks. So if you have a fullback, wide receiver, strong safety, or cornerback, highly recommend selling everything you got. I'd go even to the, the low elites, all the way to the low elites like here. Go sell them. Let's see, wide receivers, low elites. They're going for 1.6K. Obviously, some go for more than others. If you go, and what, what specifically stood out to me that I showed in the last video was the 88s to 89s went up for some of these. So, fullback specifically, if you have a fullback, fullbacks are going for 25K, 88 overall. That is way above what they're usually at. So, if I were you guys, if you guys have fullbacks, I sadly did not. I checked my binder, I had none. Did not have a single fullback that wasn't the 67 overall. And I had my free Franco Harris, that's about it. So, if I were you guys, I'd sell them. Sell what you got right now. And every time a new positional hero comes out, I would sell all the cards you have in it pretty soon too, once the market starts to sell out on them. Because as obviously as demand goes up and supply goes down, the price is going to increase a ton. So I guess that's why fullbacks are so expensive. So I would not, I would not waste this opportunity. If you guys had a team, I feel my, my dear, my, uh, my sincerest condolences for your coin count. They definitely got murdered right now. I could care less personally. Like I said, I'm giving away things. I just care about making content, getting it out to you guys and going over content. It's all I really care about. So... To me, coins aren't as important, but I know it's you guys grinding every day, working on your team still. I've had my fun in Madden. Now it's just a content creation time. But guys, we're running out to the end of this video. I'm just going to show you guys real quick the set so you guys understand why, so you guys don't think I'm just talking out of my ass. Go to positional hero set right here. I'll show you guys the Ramsey one. So the Jalen Ramsey set requires a 96-97, a 94-95, a 92-93, 90-91, 87-89, 84-86, 84-86, 80 46 80 83 and 80 83 so if you have any cards that fit the bill of these collection call cards their prices did increase some more than others obviously but i definitely would take advantage of that and in the coming weeks when the set gets a little dies down these cards will go back to their regular value and the market as a whole will die now i probably will do this set just to get this ramsey because i kind of have it done already so I'll probably just do it not right now obviously but i will probably get it done so that's, that's about it for the video guys Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys have been enjoying the content. And if you have, make sure to drop a sub. Like I said, I will be doing giveaways every video. So that could be like about 150 giveaways if you guys hit every video. I'll be doing a video, two, one to two videos a day, all the way up until Madden 20. And I will be doing a giveaway in every single one. So all you guys have to do is hit the like goal. The like goal for today is 150 likes. Like I said, I know more than 150 of you guys like it. I know you guys just all forget. You all just forget to hit the like button. I get it. It's understandable. So if you're watching the video right now, stop what you're doing. Go down below, hit the like button. If we hit 150 likes on any video, once we hit 150 likes on any video for this week or whatever, or even if it takes three months, but if once we hit 150 likes, I will give away the 550K or whatever I got in my account. I can't even see the corner of my screen. I have a light in the way, but I believe it's 527. And then once we hit that, good, on to the next one. We'll set 200 likes or 150 likes. I'll give away my Khalil Mack. Give away maybe even this Jalen Ramsey. I don't know, but we'll figure it out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying. Don't forget to sub. Don't forget to hit the like button. Guys, go hit the like button. And co oh, and comment down below. Don't forget, 500K coin, just something. Just comment down below because I will pick a random commenter. All you got to do is like the video and comment, and that's about it, guys. Hope you guys have been enjoying. This is my second video of the day. Hopefully, we'll be doing a third on the house rules. Hopefully, we can get to that. But that's about it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.